aviation. Today, we're gonna learn all about airplane instruments. Let's get into it. An airplane has special instruments to help the pilot know what's going on with the plane. Imagine, an airplane is like a big flying car. Just like your mom and dad's car has different tools and screens to know how fast they're going or if they need gas. An airplane has special instruments to help the pilot know what's going on with the plane. The first instrument is called an airspeed indicator. Can you say it with me? Okay, let's go. Air speed in dictator. Good job, my little aviators. Airspeed indicator. Think of an airspeed indicator like a speedometer in a car. Just like the speedometer shows how fast your car is going, the airspeed indicator shows how fast the airplane is moving through the air. It has a needle or a digital number that moves to tell the pilot how fast the plane is flying. This helps the pilot know if they're going too fast or too slow, which is really important for flying safely. Hey, you know what, my little aviators? My sister should be flying into town. Let's call her and see if she can tell us about how useful her airspeed indicator was. Come on. Hello? Hi, sis. Oh, hey, sis. I was wondering, I'm teaching the little aviators right now, and we kind of want to know, how useful was your airspeed indicator on your trip today? Oh, hi, aviators. That instrument was so amazing. It was so helpful to me. It's kind of hard to tell how fast without. Ma'am, do you know how fast you were flying? Um, yes, my airspeed indicator told me I was going 75 knots. The speed for a traffic pattern is Ooh. 60 knots. Okay, well, sis, I'm gonna have to call you back because I got in a little, okay, bye, bye. Okay, well, moving on, my little aviators. Um, the airspeed indicator tells us how fast we're going. Okay, next one. Moving on, we have the altimeter. Oh, 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 oh. Can you say it with me, little aviators? Okay. Al, Tim, Ma, Tur. Altimeter. Good job, my little aviators. The best way to describe an altimeter Say you have a magic ruler that can measure how high you are in the sky. An altimeter is like the magic ruler for an airplane. When the airplane is flying, the altimeter tells the pilot how high up the plane is from the ground. It's important because it helps the pilot know if the plane is flying high in the sky or close to the ground. So, just like you use a ruler to measure how tall you are, an altimeter measures how high the airplane is flying. Whoop, 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 whoop. Alrighty, my little aviators. Next, we have an instrument called the attitude indicator. Can you say it with me? Okay. At to to indicator. Good job, my little aviators. Now, what is it? Here 
I have a toy plane. And I want to know if it's flying straight or tilting up or tilting down. The attitude indicator in a real plane is like a special tool that helps the pilot see if it is. It shows if the airplane is flying straight, tilting up or tilting down. Picture it like a level tool that helps you make sure um, a picture on the wall is perfectly straight. If the airplane is tilted, the attitude indicator will show it. So the pilot can adjust it and keep the plane flying smoothly. So another tool we have is called a bop, 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 heading indicator. Can you say it with me? Okay. Huh? Eh? Ding. Heading indicator. Good job, my little aviators. A heading indicator is like a trusty compass that helps the pilots make sure they're heading in the right direction. Let's imagine we're on a treasure hunt and we have a magic compass that tells you which direction to go to the treasure. Let's go! All right, my little aviators, I found this cool map. Let's follow it and we might find cool treasure. All right, it says we need to go north. All right, it says we need to go east. It says we need to go west. Alrighty. It says we're almost there. Oh! I think I see it, my little aviators. Come, 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 come. We have to dig it out. Oh, I don't have a shovel on me. Oh my gosh. What should I do? What should I'll just use my hands, little aviators. Let's go! Dig, 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 Oh my gosh, my little aviators! I found it! It's lollipops! We earned lollipops! So, just like how we used our map and our compass, mainly our compass, to find all that treasure. Pilots use the heading indicator to make sure they're flying in the right direction to get to their destination. Now, one of my favorite instruments is the turn coordinator. Now, why is it my favorite tool? It's my favorite because when we're using it, it usually means we're turning. And turns are my favorite thing to do when flying. Can you say it with me? Okay. Er. Hmm. Er. Hmm. Good job, my little aviators. You wanna do the coordinator part with me too? Okay, it's a little bonus, let's go. Or, din, a, tor, coordinator. Great job, my little aviators, I'm so proud of you today. A turn coordinator's job 
is to help us keep the airplane's turns smooth and safe. On this screen, there's a little ball or needle that moves when the airplane turns. When the airplane makes a turn, the ball or needle moves to show how the turn is going. If the airplane is turning smoothly, the ball or needle <laughs> stays in the middle of the screen. If the ball moves away from the middle, it means the turn might be too fast or too slow. Now, our final instrument of the day. Do -do 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 drum roll! The vertical speed indicator. That one's gonna be a hard one, but can you say it with me? Okay, let's go slow. Mm. Er. Ki. Call. Let's do vertical one more time. Mm. Er. Cool. Good job. Now let's do speed. Sp sp e. Duh. Sp e. Duh. Vertical speed indicator. Good job, my little aviators. I know that was a tricky one, but you did an awesome job. The vertical speed indicator tells us how fast we're going up and down. It has a little needle or a number. And if the needle is high, it means we're going up quickly. If it's low, it means we're going down quickly. Imagine you're at a park and you start climbing up the slide. This tool will show us how quickly we're going up the slide. And when we slide down, it'll tell us how fast we're going down. And this is exactly what the vertical speed indicator does for our plane. Hey, my little aviators, I think I have a wonderful song that can help us remember all the instruments we learned about today. Do you want to hear it, my little aviators? You do? Okay, let's go. Bop, bop, bop. Listen! Up in the sky, a pile of flies with tools so clever right before their eyes to help them soar.
the most amazing song you have ever heard? <laughs> I know. Let's go over all the instruments we learned today really, really quick. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Boop. The airspeed indicator shows us how fast the airplane is flying through the air. Boop. The altimeter shows us how high the airplane is flying above the ground. Boop. The attitude indicator shows us the airplane's position in the sky, whether it's leveled, climbing up, or diving down. Up, the heading indicator, it shows the direction the airplane is pointing, like north, south, east, and west. Mm. The turn coordinator, it shows how quickly the airplane is turning left or right. Boop. The vertical speed indicator. It shows how quickly the airplane is going up or going down. Well, my little aviators, it's time for me to go. I hope you guys had an amazing ground class today. I learned a lot today, and I hope you learned a lot too. Promise me something. And continue to study. Even when you're not in ground class, I want to see you study so you can one day become an amazing pilot or air traffic controller or mechanic. Whatever you choose, just make sure you study so you can succeed. Alrighty. Bye, my little aviators. Bye.